Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean, if you guys are new here, and welcome to today's long-awaited Makeup Monday where we are playing and testing and exploring all the goodies from Makeup by Mario. You guys know who that is. This is a newer brand. I purchased some of it myself and I also got some gifted and I'm just so excited. Taking you along with me through the journey of exploring all these products. They're super fun and unique. I don't want to spoil too much, so you guys have to watch the video to see all my thoughts and reviews on all the products. Um, it's all eye products and lip products and then I did my face and all that off camera but all the products on my face right now and that I talk about in this video will of course always be listed down in the description box along with all the giveaway details for today's video as well because yes I have a giveaway for you guys. Finally it's been a long time since I've done a giveaway. Sometimes they can get a little bit tricky to be honest with you and especially during COVID it was a little bit difficult but this giveaway will be international. I have two products to be giving away to you guys that were kindly gifted from Makeup by Mario So very grateful to have some extras to pass on to you guys If you guys want to learn and experience all these goodies that are sitting in front of me um, Along with me then just keep watching. Okay guys, let's just get into playing with this makeup Obviously, I have nothing on my face right now. I just applied my moisturizer and did some skincare um, I apologize my hair is like so dirty and gross so honestly i'm gonna throw up in a messy bun so we can start playing around with all this fun makeup i'm really excited because it's mostly like eye stuff and just unique products obviously i already told you guys in the beginning i've used the two like main palettes before already so this isn't like a full first impression it's kind of just like testing and playing around and just using all of the Mario products that I have from his line. Okay, so first up, the palette that I've probably been using the most for eyes and what I've had the longest is the By Mario Master Matte Palette. It looks like this. I'm obsessed with all the packaging. I'll say that straight up right now. It's just very classic and basic, but still like super high quality and nice looking. It's all black and white, this like shiny white plastic material, which I love because it stands out. You'd think the white would get really, really dirty, but honestly, the hard, shiny plastic is like the best because you can clean it off so well. And I love how all of the palettes snap close, kind of like a magnetic. If I were to create a makeup product or like pick out packaging, it would be something very similar to this, just clean and simple. And it's also a nice like size palette for how many colors you get in this. And for what it is, it is such a good size, like the size of my hand to be able to throw in your makeup bag. I guess let's start by using some mattes to create a base on our eye. This palette is beautiful and I've already been using this a lot and you guys know I'm like a neutral matte girl to begin with so this makes me more excited than any other makeup palette. I know to some people this is probably like the most boring thing ever but of course this line is geared more towards artists and people like that so this is a great palette to have in your kit if you are a freelance artist because obviously you have all these gorgeous matte shades ranging from like the lightest all the way to a black which is great when you're using it on a bunch of different people then the second palette I have that we're gonna use on the eyes today this one I've only used like one time I'm not even gonna really count this so really we're playing with this one a lot today this is the by Mario master metals palette and this is gorgeous same exact size packaging same little container but it comes with five gorgeous metallic shades so I kind of want to build a nice simple base with the mattes and then we'll go in and use some of these fun shades and test them out you can also purchase the master metal manipulator it's a mixing liquid to be able to make these more intense so that's why there's this little indentation here to be able to scrape some of the product off and make some like mixing metals so this whole line is really created to be able to play around and mix and have fun and be able to use on a bunch of different people as an artist would which to me I really appreciate I think it's really fun okay so this is the little liquid manipulator here it's so cute this is actually very similar to when you would use like a fix plus or any 
liquid with your shadows back in the day that I feel like that was even more popular to make them more foiled and more metallic. I would say this palette is a little bit more like advanced just because it was truly created for that um, but you don't necessarily need this liquid to be able to use this palette because these shadows are honestly really pretty on their own. Those are the two things we're going to start off with and then I have literally so many other things over here that will open up and test out and I'll show you guys on camera. The one thing with this matte palette I will say and I've said it in videos before where I've used it is I feel like this brand is for more experienced people with makeup. Um, the mattes are a little bit harder to blend. You kind of have to work them in and build them up, which as an artist for me, I prefer and I really enjoy. I just wouldn't recommend this palette to someone who is brand new to makeup because it can be something that you kind of have to work with and know how to use the right way. So that's the one thing I'll say about this. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get into applying this makeup. To start off, I'm gonna prime my eyes using my little e.l.f putty primer base. It's just going to conceal and prep my eyelids. You guys, honestly, filming videos like this is a little bit challenging because I feel like there's so many products and so many different things to talk about. And this line specifically is like all, pretty much all we're using is eye products and then lip products. So lots of the same stuff. And I feel like that's why I've been pushing this video out. It's a little overwhelming when there's so much product to talk about and it's all kind of under the same umbrella, if you know what I mean. Okay, well this putty primer honestly is really sucking right now and I absolutely hate it. So I'm going to apply some concealer on my eyelids and prime them that way. I'm going to do a little bit of concealer to give them full coverage and then I am going to set them with some powder. Okay, our eyes are nice and primed. I normally like to do that every time I do my makeup and usually I do my foundation and concealer first so that would have already been prepped and primed. Um, but just because today we're working with so many colors and so many different products, I wanted to do my eyes first. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm going to go in with just this basic cream matte shade. Um, this is a huge reason why I love this palette is because these shades are just essential for pretty much any look I do ever. I love applying a nice matte cream shade all over my lid to really start a look. And I love this one because it does have a good pigment in it to where it actually brightens up the lid and you can really see that shade. You can already see how much brighter this eye is. So this is kind of just another step to prepping the canvas for me. This palette's especially good for like a brown smoky eye or any like neutral smoky eye because you have all those gradual shades that you can work up with. Honestly, let me know if you guys want to see a full brown intense smoky eye look. That has one, been one of my classic looks forever and this palette would be literally perfect to use for that. So I think I just thought of an idea for myself. But let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. I know I've done a brown smoky eye so many times, but I'm just picturing like a really rich, smoky, brown eye look with using all these different shades would honestly be like so gorgeous. Okay, I don't even know where this look is going to go, so I guess I'm just going to keep it simple for now. And I'm going to take a blender brush and I'm going to take this neutral shade on the end here. This is matte number four. And I'm just going to start applying this in my crease from inner corner all the way to outer corner. Okay, that's a nice little base to start. I'm going to step up the color one more and take the color directly below it. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more warmer and I'm going to apply this the same exact way. And this is just a great way to build depth by using slightly darker shades as you go on. From inner to outer corner, pretty much applying all the way to the brow bone, but leaving just a tiny bit of space so it's still nice and bright there. And you can really like drag out this outer corner because we don't have our foundation on yet. This is actually a really beautiful mid-tone brown. This is where I feel like some of these mattes can honestly get a little bit patchy, if I'm being totally honest. And that's why I say this just isn't for beginners, because I feel like you do need to really take your time and blend these shadows out, which 
yeah, it just really depends on the person who's using the makeup. I actually have two other eyeshadow quads that I want to open up and look at with you guys on camera. They look like this. There's two different shades that I got sent. Probably other colorways online as well. I'll have everything linked down below though for you guys to fully check it out. What are these actually called? These are called Glam Quads eyeshadow palettes. And I have the shade Bronzy Glam and Rosy Glam. So let's open these up and look at them. I feel like we may want to use some of this over the metals palette again beautiful white packaging I love how everything is so seamless and it's just very like thought out and organized and just simple and like that's what I love about it. I love this packaging it's just everything okay this is oops looks a little cracked there this is the glam quads in bronzy glam so it looks like that. So this comes with a matte shade and three shimmer shades. Okay, so the quads are more like a full-on eyeshadow look that you could do with just using the quad. This one is Rosy Glam. Ooh, pretty. This is like kind of purpley. This is the Rosy Glam quad. Okay, so these quads are definitely like full-on looks within themselves which I would totally way more recommend this to a beginner in makeup or someone who just wants to buy like one product because you get a nice matte transition shade in there and then three shimmers. So honestly, I'm not going to use these today, but if you want to see like a full look on them, I will show you just because we're going to be using too many products, but I will swatch this. So swatch this matte shade. I know swatches don't tell you everything, but it's nice to see the color that way. That honestly swatched really nice. Let's swatch this dark purple. Fun fact too, if you have brown eyes, purple eyeshadow is very complimentary for you. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's actually very pretty. It's kind of like a neutral purple. It's like a plummy shimmery color a little bit iridescent i can just picture like such a glam eye on kim with this okay this is more of like a metallic color you can totally tell how much more shiny that is okay this quad is honestly really really beautiful i'm kind of impressed just from those swatches um looking at it like this seems a little boring but after seeing these swatches i feel like this would be such a flattering and beautiful like full-on like almost a prom makeup look for someone with brown eyes I think this is gorgeous okay let me know if you want to see a purple glam using this palette because I'm totally in let's swatch this gold color really quick because I'm interested so I think these palettes have multiple um, formulas in them Wow I love like just first impressions of just like feeling excited about the makeup. Um, that's what I meant about this video being a little overwhelming because there's so many eye products and I can't I can't use them all. Um, otherwise, I would literally look like I have a mess on my eyes. So for this, I guess we'll just go into the Master Metals. Let's dig into this here. I kind of want to use that blue color somewhere, or maybe we should stick to these. Ooh, this is hard. Okay, I'm going to start by taking this pink metal color. I'm not going to use the liquid yet, and I'm going to kind of apply this all over my lid, I think. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling that these will be better with your finger. Yeah, okay, it's literally not applying at all. I'm going to take my finger and dip into the pink shade here and press on my eyes. Okay, that pink color honestly sucks. I don't like it. It is not really packing any sort of punch for me. Um, I'm going to take the same finger and go into the orange shade, and we are just going to cover that right up. Okay, look, right when I dip into the orange shade, do you see that pigment on there and how reflective that is? That is what I was looking for. I'm going to pack this on my lid. All right, I want to try mixing the orange with the liquid metal. So I am going to scrape some of the orange off. And then I'm going to take the liquid 
master metal manipulator it's called this is fun it's like arts and crafts playing with this kind of stuff and you could totally like really really get into this stuff so if you are someone who just like loves to try new makeup and new innovative stuff i feel like this brand is one that you should try out because they have different products than other lines which i genuinely love as a makeup lover it's essentially just like a little eyedropper bottle and i'm going to do one little drop into this palette where i scraped some of that shadow off mix that around so yeah, I think if you are using these shadows dry, you definitely need to use your finger and like pack them on. The pink color really didn't do anything for me, but the orange is pretty and I know I've used that yellow quickly before to press on with my fingers and the punch is not all the way there, but it definitely is really, really pretty. Now I'm going to take it in this liquid form on a brush and see the difference. Okay, yeah, it's definitely way more of a true color when it's wet and just that more foiled look. You can see you're getting more of an opaque, rich orange on that eye. Oh, wow. Okay, I find that you can add actually more liquid than you may think and it's even more intense. Do you guys see this? This is crazy. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if you do get this palette, you definitely need the liquid manipulator because it changes these shadows to a whole new form. Like, these are full-on foil liquid shadows. And what I love about it personally is I love using a brush and really being able to get in there and work with it because you can, like, cut out that crease nicely and apply the color where you want it. So I'm obviously taking this all the way to the inner corner and just shaping that rounded edge on my eye with this orange color. I hope you guys are seeing that right. I feel like it's even more intense in person. Okay, this is kind of fun now. I feel like I need to give the pink a little bit of a break, but on its own, it was just not doing it for me. Now that my palette is so messy, these are definitely gonna get messy quickly, but that's why, again, I love this plastic white packaging because it's gonna be so easy to clean off and just, you know, not get completely ruined. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this kind of champagne bronzy color and do the same thing by adding some of the liquid. I'm actually gonna add the liquid right on top of the shadow. I'm gonna take the same brush, pack it on my brush there. This is probably the most like a neutral shade in this palette. And I'm gonna pack this on the center of my lid. Okay, yeah, paired with the orange, it's really pretty because it's kind of just a lighter version of that orange. So, just applying that right on top, kind of focusing more in the middle. Okay, honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with these liquid shadows. I feel like using the blue or even the pink, just some of the like more intense colors, and not doing any mattes, just using it full liquid and creating like a really cool shape on your eye would be beautiful and super easy to do with these shadows once you use that liquid because it's a very like manipulative product once you add that liquid like a cool winged out blue metallic eye would be so cool okay i am going to go back in with our blender brush actually and dip into a matte shade from this palette i'm actually going to go back in with the shade we already used the mid-tone brown add that back into the crease because i feel like the orange got a little out of hand i don't want it to be too harsh of a line Okay, wow, it blends really nicely over top. I was scared it was gonna maybe start pulling the product weird and like taking it off, but it's definitely not, which is really, really nice. Because we're using that orange, I think using that golden yellow on the inner half of our eye will be beautiful. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Okay, I'm gonna take this smaller kind of fluffy brush and get my brush wet this time. I'm kind of doing different ways of using this liquid, but I find that you can totally just get the actual shadow wet instead of having to scrape it if you don't need a lot like I did with this one. This time I just got the brush wet and I'm gonna dip into the yellow. Like, you guys can see how much is coming up on that brush. 
it's literally like paint okay I'm going to apply this on the inner half of my eye Wow Okay, I kind of dragged that yellow to kind of shape the crease a little bit. Obviously, this is looking very messy right now, but once I do my foundation and concealer, everything, the eyes will get cleaned up. But I wanted to get that yellow really intense on our inner corners because I think it's beautiful and really fun. Okay, we're going to go back in with some of the orange just to intensify that on the outer corner because I feel like the yellow has taken over a little bit. This is definitely something that you need to like get used to and work with because it's just a different product. I've never really used something like this besides just like using Fix Plus like I was saying in the beginning. But these are like turned into full liquid metallic shadows. So far, I love the Mads palette. You guys already know that. I've been using it. It's part of my collection. I think it's just a really great palette to have in your collection because of the practicality of it. And then for the Metals palette, I really love it. I think it's really fun and different and unique, and I think the colors are pretty. Obviously, they outshined themselves once you use that liquid manipulator. I need a research. I'm pretty sure you have to buy that separate because... Yeah, I'm pretty positive. It's just different and fun and if you have like some special event or you want like a really bold look or product to have in your collection, I mean this is it. I feel like there's so many cool things you could actually do with this and gr get creative. Um, even using it like on the lower lash line or something like that. So these pass for me. These are an A+, the Master Mattes and the Master Metals along with the little liquid manipulator. Then the Glam Quads honestly really did impress me from first look and first touch, if you will. They are beautiful, and I think this is an easier route if you want to just kind of get all in one. These are more practical just for a one product type thing. Before I move on to finish up my face off camera, there is one other eye product I want to show you for now. These are the Master Crystal Reflectors. It says it's a highlighter, but I also think you can use these on the eyes. No, it is for the eyes. Every package like says what it's for on the side as well within the black like packaging, which I love. So I actually already have one. This is the one I purchased and have already used and been using. I love it. I actually love products like this. I've other brands have them. I can't think who was like the first. I think Urban Decay was the first one to have a product like this. It was called like Cowboy something like that. Remind me if you guys know what product I'm talking about but it's pretty much like a glitter or like a reflector eyeshadow overlay and if you don't understand the product a lot of people will hate on it. I even realized online this has kind of a lot of bad reviews but I feel like it's just People are buying it online and expecting something a little different, but these are really unique products. I already know I love this. So I have the shade Citrine, which is a beautiful bright gold color and I think actually will be great to use with today's look. Basically like a glitter shadow, but without the underneath pigment. So when I swatch it, you can see it almost looks like transparent, but the glitter is just so much more reflective and like wet looking. So these products are meant to be used like on top of a look. This would be gorgeous on completely bare eyelids, or you could do like a beautiful matte look and then just pack this on. Or today we could just pack it on top of our fully done, very intense shadow right now. And I'm just gonna take my finger and dab this on top and it's literally like adding little stars into your look because it's just adding those gold reflex. It's going to be really hard to see on camera, but right now looking at this eye to this eye, it's like this eye is twinkling in the light and this one is just kind of standstill. I love these products. I just think the reason people give them bad reviews or take them the wrong ways because they think this will be like a full opaque shadow and it's just not. You can see just how like wet and translucent looking it is. I think you could also use this on the face as a highlighter. Maybe we'll try that once I have my makeup on. But yeah, I'm just gonna pack a bunch of this on top to really just make our eyes sparkle. I definitely recommend this. Is it something you're gonna use on a daily basis? Um, probably not. Is it something you need to have in your collection? Probably not, but it is a unique, fun product, and I do really love them for, like, a full 
glam sparkly look um, and then they also sent me a different shade this is the shade quartz um, I have not opened this up yet but I think this is gonna be really really pretty this one is like literally a white translucent how pretty is that see just like the little sparkles in that this would be so pretty on like a purple or blue look with those tones highly recommend these they are called the master crystal reflectors i'm pretty sure there's several other shades too but i have the like really bright yellow one and the white one now okay i think that is all for eyes for now i'm going to step off camera really quick just to finish up my primer foundation concealer all of that so i will be right back with the full face Okay, we are back. I have my full face of makeup on and it honestly is looking pretty good. Let's move on. I have some more products for the eyes. These are the Master Pigment Pro pencils. I haven't even opened these up, so really don't even know what they are. I'm assuming they're eyeliners. And I have the shade The Perfect Brown and Super Black. Okay, that sounds like two shades I would want to be using. So let's crack this open. Seems very long. Oh, wow, it comes with a sharpener! Literally, it comes with its own pencil sharpener, which honestly is amazing. That is one of the things over all the years of doing makeup that I always lose and misplace is a pencil sharpener. And especially with clients in a kit, if you don't have a pencil sharpener and your lip liners are all dull or your eyeliners, that's like the worst thing ever. Okay, ooh, this packaging is very legit. Wow, you guys, I like was not expecting this, so I'm just exploring with you. Um, this side is like a little brush, so probably for smudging the liner. And then this side is the pencil. Okay, so it is like this weird plastic material. I normally love a good classic wooden pencil, um, but this probably isn't bad either. And I do really like how it comes with its own sharpener because it probably like works better with this. I think we should use the brown today because of the tones that we already have going on. Um, I'm not even gonna open up the black one just because we know it's just gonna be plain black, but let's try like doing this on the back of our hand first. Oh, okay. Yep, it is very smooth, very, very pigmented right away. I am going to line my bottom lash line using this, and then I'm going to like quickly smudge it with the brush after. We're gonna apply more shadow too, by the way. Take it like halfway, and then I'm gonna take this brush. Okay, well, this liner is very intense. I definitely didn't need to apply that much. And this brush is kind of interesting because it's kind of like rough, which I honestly like. I just applied way too much. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, I'm also gonna apply this on my waterline just because we're already going there, so. You guys already know I've been a lot more into liner lately than I ever have been before. Okay, I feel like this would be a great product. First of all, I want to say the brown is a very, very dark brown. I normally like my brown liners to be like a true brown because if they're so dark, they end up looking black anyways, which I feel like this is coming off very black. But I feel like this is a product that I would use more maybe without any shadow and just as a liner because of the smudging portion. I think it'd be really beautiful to like smudge on the top lash line and like really smoke it out that way. I think actually doing like a winged liner with this maybe would be amazing. With all the shadow I have on and just doing it on the lower lash line, it's obviously like very intense. But I feel like it's going to lock in and be very long wearing. So I'll let you know if that is true because that is one thing that is probably the most important in finding a good liner is just being super opaque and very long lasting without smudging because... That's like my biggest problem with liners. Okay, so to balance that out, I kind of want to smudge some of the orange underneath as well with that brown from the Metals palette. I'm gonna use it without getting it wet on this definer brush. And I'm just gonna apply it kind of right over and a little bit underneath. Okay, it's kind of just blending into the black, so I am gonna get my brush a little bit wet to kind of get some more opaque orange down there. 
You could probably use these metals as like actual liners if you used a detailed brush. The best we got for under there for now. It's definitely not looking how I maybe wanted it to, but all those products really worked well. I honestly like that liner a lot just because I feel like it's very intense and you can just feel the quality in these products, which I really appreciate, which I actually haven't mentioned much. The price tag on these products is a little bit higher than even some of the average brands at Sephora, but I think half of that is you're kind of paying for the name a little bit and because it's new. Um, but I also do think a lot of this product is just high quality in general. Um, nothing is like made super cheaply and I feel like each product is really thought out and again just very different. Each product is something just a little bit different that you maybe have not seen before including the little brush on this liner. Not saying that's some brand new thing but it's just not your average and I love how it came with a pencil sharpener because that's just like an added thing especially when you think of the price. I do have a liquid liner from him I believe so we can open that up. This is the Master Mattes liquid liner and this is in super black. I wonder if he has other colors. Um, but I guess let's do some black liner on the top since we're here and we're at it and maybe it will actually bring the look together since we have such bold liner on the bottom. Okay, again, white plastic packaging and the black cap. I wish he did the caps in white, but ooh, you guys, that looks like a liner I like. It's very long and skinny, like felt tip. Basic liquid liner. Let's test this out. I'm gonna have to focus. <laughs> wish me luck. Obviously, they're not small wings, but the liner is on and I was just having a hard time doing it today And I think on top of all that shadow the shadow is a little bit thick. So that's something I would Revise in the future to use less of that metal shadow because it kind of builds up a little bit But I love how the liner actually wears and looks and it's drying down matte and I really loved the tip of it honestly like really impressed by this and I feel like it kind of ties the look together okay let's move on to lips so the first lip product that I have is one of the items part of the giveaway such a great item I've been using this palette as well as the master mattes palette probably since before the new year this is the master mattes pro lip palette this is the biggest size palette it's actually bigger than the shadows you can see the shadow palettes are a little bit smaller. Okay, this is what the lip palette looks like when you open it up. Obviously, mine is very dirty and well used. It comes with this little silver tray that actually swings out to the side. And we have more of our primary colors there as well as a white and a black. This lip palette, again, just explains why I feel like this whole brand is really made for artists and people who are having a lot of clients and needing to work with a lot of different products. This lip palette literally can pretty much create any lip color or like pigment color that you want um, because it does come with your primaries and then it comes with a ton of gorgeous different nudes and pinks and red tones in here that are just so fun to play around with and make colors. Probably this is my favorite product from the whole brand. It is just so fun to play around with. Also in the palette it does come with a little lip brush so this side is like a little tool to be able to scoop the product out and then this side is the lip brush. And I love this palette also because with this type of product and using the brush, you don't really need a lip liner because these are already so opaque and I just use the actual brush to kind of shape and line my lips. So we have this palette and then I have three lip glosses that I'll show you and we'll probably top off the look with one of them. I'm going to start by scooping this nude color. I always start with this one. I don't know why. It's just very nice, like basic. Put on my tray, and then I'm gonna take some of this pinky nude. Mix that in there. Maybe some white. And I'm gonna mix that up. It's so fun, you just like feel like a little artist doing this. Okay, that's the nude I just created. I think I'm gonna start by using this shade. Kind of a purpley color. I'm actually gonna take this one that's more red and deep. I 
well, how pigmented they are and how much payoff they have. So good. Okay, now I'm going to take the nude color I made and apply a lot of that to brighten this up. Okay, they are looking very pink on camera, but I'm honestly not hating it. Can you guys see how beautiful this actual product is? I feel like it makes your lips so smooth. The payoff is like amazing. Okay, my camera is going to run out of room. I'm going to have to change my card here in a second, so let's keep it moving. I have three lip glosses here. Pro Volume Lip Gloss. I wonder if that means it's um, tingling at all. I do not know. I have the shade Golden Nude. Rose Nude and Mauve Nude. Ooh, the lip gloss tubes are beautiful. A nice glass, like acrylic tube with the white plastic cap and his black logo. This is the shade Golden Nude. It's a really pretty deeper nude with gold reflex in it. I usually don't love a sparkly gloss. It has to be like a very specific time that I want to wear that. I like a really creamy gloss. So I wonder if these are all the same. Ooh, oh, this one's really pretty. This one's very reflective. This is the shade Rose Nude. Me just saying I don't really like um, shiny glosses. It's almost like those eye reflectors that I showed you earlier are like crushed up into the gloss. This is actually really beautiful. I feel like this one will go really good with today's look. Um, they are very similar though seeing those side by side so just beware and then the last color i have is a mauve nude probably be a little more purpley this might look good with that quad we got yeah it's a little bit more purpley but again very similar to the other two so this is definitely not a gloss that you need all the colors in it's kind of like pick which one works with you best i really like this nude one probably better for every day but this middle one is like the most reflective and really pretty. I think it's going to go good with this look. So let's try this one out. Apply this right on top of our lips right now. Nice like curved applicator that holds the product. Okay, this gloss is very beautiful. It performed very well. I honestly overlined my lips a little bit too much. So this makeup is very intense today, but I love it. It's making me feel creative and excited about makeup, and that's like my favorite thing ever. I feel like with reflective glosses, a lot of times it looks gorgeous in the tube, and then you apply it on your lips, and you're kind of like underwhelmed. So if you are someone that likes that like literally glittery gloss, this definitely shows it on the lips like it looks even more beautiful and reflective and glossy on the lips than it even does in the tube and it's not like big chunks of glitter you don't feel the glitter it's just very reflective i'm obsessed with this i really really like this um again i think the shade range is kind of interesting because they're so similar but if you want like a good really shiny reflective gloss i honestly highly recommend this it's not sticky it's more of a slippery kind of feeling. It doesn't have a scent. Nothing really here has a scent at all, honestly. Um, yeah, okay. I think that completes testing all these products. I have so much stuff in front of me right now. You guys should see the mess I made. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like this video is like an hour long and it was all over the place, but honestly, I had so much fun just playing around and exploring with these products and really... I feel like I'm thoroughly just in a good mood and happy because I did really love pretty much everything I used. Um, is everything that I use going to be in my new daily routine? Probably not because not a lot of this is practical for that, but I will be keeping all these products in rotation and in my collection to be using for the future and I'm really excited. I love how the look turned out. It's just very fun and different. I kind of slicked my hair back a little bit because it is dirty, but I think it like overall is just such a cool vibe and i just love the intensity and the creativity in this makeup if you will let me know if you guys liked this and what other brands i should kind of explore and test out like this i love to do some newer brands since there are so many like 
new brands nowadays? Um, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget about the giveaway. All the details and information will be listed in the description box and you have one week to enter. So that means I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway in next week's Makeup Monday. So stay tuned for that. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you should. It's at Emily G Beauty. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, definitely click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos from me. And yeah, I think that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.